Just make sure you notice the collateral view. That would be me. No, just me. Wise words, right? These are the words of a character named Death. And these are the exact words that help me conjure what I want to tell you today. Two steps. Firstly, I need you to disconnect from your daily life. And secondly, I need you to notice the collateral view. Now, what does this collateral view mean? It might be something that represents the positive part of a hopeless moment, or it might be a parallel perspective to the one that we've been used to. What does parallel mean in this sentence? It means that if we don't let ourselves actually realize that there's a beauty and a natural positive part to everything that happens to us, we might never actually intersect with it. So, I've heard all my life that this creativity is inhibited by rationality. And creativity is a great source of emotions, especially happiness, satisfaction, or fulfillment. Smarty showed in a study that people usually feel happy when they smoke a cigarette, drink their favorite cup of tea, maybe watch the sunrise or the sky at night. And even more, to make an opposite idea of the thing I've told you before, I've heard all my life that happiness consists in graduating, having a perfect job, getting married, having kids. When does the satisfaction appear? Certainly not in this moment. Come on, let's go. You may be proud of yourself, right? but you may not actually be happy. This is because us as a society, and people usually, people usually make a confusion between this fulfillment and happiness sensation with problems. So life is filled up upon achievements, but it's also filled up with moments, moments, moments we forget to cherish. Do you remember your wedding, your vacations, your trips, your important moments as compact events? Or do you remember and appreciate them by the certain moments that they were actually created and conceived of? We can assume that life is the result of being in moments together. We can see that, let's say, maybe chords, career songs, which were music, letters, form languages, etc. That's amazing, right? So, our success is based on our small decisions that we make, and our world is the result of what we try to change and what we try to maintain. And this brings me to the next question I should ask myself, myself, like most of you. How are we going to make a change? How are we going to let our fingerprint on this world? Now, why am I asking this question, you may think? It's because of the pressure the society puts on us. It's really, really difficult to stand out. And it's really difficult to resist. As people, we've been always encouraged to pass, to go and succeed and achieve our dreams. Our dreams meaning graduating, being having this perfect job, being to represent the perfect uh, model that we should actually get ourselves into. We should be perfect. And this perfect word is based on some ethics we don't even agree with. We are fooled into this social game in which we have to materialize a best version of us, even if we don't know what this best means. And this applies to all of us. But there is a person, maybe there is a person, who will have the courage to stand out, to stand out from the crowd and actually want to make a change. And they will be told this, no matter what you do, you'll never amount to anything more than a single drop of what you know in the ocean. And that is the exact moment when we abandon, when we abandon and when we let ourselves agree with the statement, you're just a teenager, you're really just a teenager. What could you possibly change? Just study. It's better to study. It'll help you later. I mean, come on, stop dreaming. 
do something really helpful. When he said we should answer with this, what is an ocean but a multitude of drops? That's real metaphorical, as I love it. We have really condemned ourselves to this financial era. We have got ourselves in a trap named daily basis. To this jungle in which are not allowed to feel, we end up at work and after a long day, we probably are just gonna sit on the sofa and eat something, probably eat all the speech. Maybe, I don't know, watch TV. Even fight with our friends or partner just because they wanted to open their mouths. This usually happens, admittedly. So, I actually understand you this matter. It's the same for all of us. Even if we're pupils, we're adults, we're... Okay, we're everything, not all people. Now, you'll get back home, and you will do all of this. And then, maybe someday, you'll 